welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a very new episode of BitLife Controls My Sim Royal Edition. Now in the last episode of this series, things went a little crazy. We had a baby with Harrison and um, we just don't know how he feels about us. And I got so many mixed reviews, you guys, on whether or not we should marry Harrison or if we should try to still go with George because George is endgame. And I completely agree with you guys. So I hope you guys are looking forward to today's episode. I really am. I think it's going to continue to get a little bit crazy. So if you guys haven't already, please consider hitting subscribe and joining our family here. And let's go ahead and get into it. So... If you guys remember in the last episode, Madison moved in to her own palace um, on the same property as her parents' castle. So she is currently living here and it looks like Harrison is actually just heading out from um, our previous hangout. I, the one thing I love about here also, again, it's a gated property that you can't get into. I think it's so realistic and I really like that because, you know, for her protection and everything. We had our first child born. We had Victoria Battenborough, <laughs> which is like Batty and Attenborough together. <laughs> Battenborough. So things recently have started to get a little bit better between, um... Harrison and Maddie in the game. If you see on the relationship panel here, they're actually pretty close. Their love bar is really high. Their friendship is a little bit lower. I'm still a little curious to see how that works out. But if you see with George, we actually get along with him personality wise a lot better, like our friendship. Um, and our love bar is a little bit lower. But that being said, we didn't have a child with him and we haven't spent as much time with Georgie boy. So I don't know what to do, you guys. So if you guys remember in the last episode, we finished, um, we aged up to the age of 21 years old and not too much has actually really happened. We just kind of spent time with our friends and family. And on here you can see Victoria, our daughter, who is age one, was born. Um, and she's so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna age up Maddie one more year. Graduation. So you graduated from university with an undergraduate degree in political science. What will you do now? And the only option right now is settle into royal life. So we'll go ahead and do that. Mood swings. You realize lately that you've been really up and really, really up and down lately. What will you do? Um, we'll go to the doctor. Which local doctor will you schedule an appointment to see? Um, Dr. Buckingham's reputation is a little bit higher. So we'll go with Dr. Buckingham. Keep it up. Dr. Buckingham has determined that you aren't currently suffering from any conditions. Oh, it's time to vaccinate our daughter. Yes, we will definitely vaccinate her. So Harrison graduated from university as an undergraduate degree in biology. He started a new position as a junior environmental scientist for the Carp DM company. I graduated from university and settled into royal life. I experienced mood swings and we got our daughter vaccinated. So oh, we better go ahead and let her come down and spend some time with her little baby. Alrighty, so I've gone ahead and I've made her a gym. Our baby is still crying, so I'm gonna get her to go change the dirty diaper. And then I'm gonna get her to um, hire a nanny. Okay, so we've just finished hiring the butler and the nanny, so we can definitely assign this bedroom over here to the butler. It is right by where um, Princess Victoria is sleeping, so I think it makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and let her go to sleep. It is pretty late and uh, we'll kind of get her onto a more regular schedule. <laughs> Our baby's crying, but our butler, oh she, so the nanny tried to cook and almost burnt the house down. Um, but she's at least taking care of our child, so we don't really have to worry about that too much. Madison was really hungry. She's thinking about her mom. So if you guys remember in the last episode, her mom was really upset with her for, you know, having a baby out of wedlock and maybe not being super responsible in the eyes of her mom. But at the same time, Madison is a strong, independent woman and she's capable of taking care of a baby. She's very intelligent. She would still be able to be super successful and take care of a child. And I just don't think that it's fair that her mom was so hard on her. Um, so I do 
think that she's probably a little bit focused on that right now, like wondering why, um, wondering what the best way to um, fix her relationship with her mom is right now. Although her mom's relationship and hers only went down a little bit in bit life, so that's not too bad. So we'll go ahead and have a conversation. You and your mother had a conversation about who would win a fight between Taylor, Taylor Swift and Adele. Ooh, them czar fighting words. I love both of them very much. Um... So I would like her to maybe just, let's just give him a compliment. You told your friend George that you thought he's the goat. I don't know what that means. It's mutual. Your friend George called you good looking. Yeah, of course he did. We're amazing. Our respect is a little bit lower since we had a baby also um, in the royal community. So I think for royalty, I am going to have her do a public service. So good karma. You spoke about the value of compassion at a motivational seminar. And so our, our respect went up to 91% for that. And we'll also do some law review. I'm having her in the game just do her working out right now because she did do some fitness. So that'll help her get her looks back on track. Offer your support for a new law. What will you do? Legalize magic mushrooms for therapeutic, therapeutic use. Sure, why not? 99%, so our respect is up much higher. So that makes me really happy. So I think what we're going to do is we're gonna try to commit ourselves to Harrison. If Harrison says yes to getting married, then she will marry Harrison because she is trying to be more responsible. I think her mom um, being disappointed in her kind of affected her a little bit. But overall, I think that she wants to do the right thing. And I do genuinely believe that she has strong feelings for Harrison because like I said in the BitLife app, their relationship's very strong. So I think if we pop the question and he says yes, we'll marry him. If he decides to not get married to us, then we will try to go for George. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to go relationships. We're gonna go to Harrison. Oh, I guess we need to buy a ring because sometimes they say no. So let's go assets and let's go shopping. Do they not, uh, stainless steel ring, it's only $57. Do they not have a uh, men's ring? Ooh, diamond pendant, I feel like she would want that. <laughs> um, okay, so we'll get the sapphire ring because it's got the blue diamond. Iced up. You're now the owner of this ring. Okay, so let's go relationships. Let's go to our boyfriend and let's go ahead and propose to him. So we're going to use our sapphire ring. Um, but for right now, I guess we'll just do a elegant restaurant. <gasps> he said yes. You proposed to your boyfriend Harrison with a very expensive sapphire ring and an at an elegant restaurant. He accepted your marriage proposal. So I'm just going to get her ready you guys and then we'll catch back up with her when it is time for her to take Harrison out on a fancy dinner date and ask him to marry us. Alrighty you guys, so I gave her a new everyday outfit that's a little bit more relaxed for Madison. You know, some pants, she's running after a toddler soon. Um, so I wanted to make sure that it is um, something still comfortable for her, but still looks absolutely fabulous. Now for the date night. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this dress. It is so fabulous and she wants to look stunning for the day. When she asks Harrison to marry her, she wants to look fabulous so he could never say no. So let's go ahead you guys and jump back into the game. So I just wanted to quickly let you guys know that we down I downloaded this uh, romantic restaurant. It was created by Maria FS91. So if you guys want to download it, that is the user's name on the gallery, and it is so romantic and cool, you guys. I'm so excited to get these two to come here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab Madison and grab Harrison, and we will come here. Okay, so she has chosen to wear her fanciest dress in the entire world. So this is the build. How amazing is this? It is so ridiculously cute. And once there is nighttime and it's dark out, I think it's going to be so cute with all the little lights and stuff. They've got like a piano player. It's going to be beautiful. So I'm really excited. I like that it's undercover, but it's an outdoor venue. 
So she's looking absolutely fabulous. So the first thing is to socialize with our date. So we will go ahead and go friendly and discuss his interests and we will do a little bit of a flirt and just thank him for coming. So in BitLife, we will go to Harrison and we will give him a compliment. So we told our fiance Harrison that he is courageous. So maybe she's like talking to him about the fact that, you know, like, you know, the fact that he's still willing to stay with her, even though there's all these royal duties and stuff, how she's just really grateful um, to him. And, you know, it takes a lot of courage to be someone to take that on. So I think she definitely loves the fact that he hasn't totally ran away. He says, it's mutual. Your fiance Harrison called you a bubbly personality. Oh, so they're flirting in the game. Um, let's have them go ahead and have a conversation. Uh, we discussed who's better, the Red Sox or the Yankees. So we know he likes sports. Um, I definitely think they definitely both need some red wine. And for the meal, I guess we could get some steak. Ooh, let's get some lobster. Mmm, lobster. So we are going to have to get him into the science uh, career. I wasn't expecting um, Harrison to be a scientist at all. But there's nothing wrong with that. It's just completely different than what I had visioned him to be in my head. <laughs> okay, so our dinner is being served. Oh my god, why is our dad out on a date with someone else? Maybe it's a business date. You know, he's in his official attire, so it's possible that it's just a business date. Now, I do see that these two are getting along well. However, I do have to say it is a little bit... Okay, could you guys please go? Thank you. I'm happy you're happy, but leave. Um, I don't know. I just feel like it's very cold but it is what it is so she's thanked him for you know being so amazing and taking on this responsibility and having their daughter and being there for her and she is now going to propose to Harrison and say you know I'm gonna choose my path I'm not gonna do what my mother says I would like to ask you to marry me so he's accepted it is he gonna jump in her arms oh they didn't jump into each other's arms so we're on the road to fame. That's good because she wants to be famous. So I'm going to get her. Can we give him a little bit of a kiss? Uh, they can do a kiss. So they are officially engaged now. They're officially engaged. So she's done, you know, the steps that she thinks uh, is right for her and her life and her daughter. So there, it, look how beautiful it is, you guys, all lit up at night. I knew it would be. So she's going to go to the bathroom quickly. You know, she feels like she's made the right decision. She's got engaged. She's done the right call. But I have to admit that she just can't stop thinking about George. So I think now that she's engaged to Harrison, she's like, Kind of second guessing herself and wondering like oh my gosh should i you know should i try one last time so i think she's going to give him a compliment and i would say she's doing this maybe like on her phone so let's have her go ahead and chat can we get her to chat with i'm gonna get her to call george and chat with him so she's just separated herself and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna ask him out one time and if he says no, it's okay. But if he says yes, we're gonna be together. <sighs> well, don't laugh. Your friend George rejected you. He has told you he already has enough craziness in his life without you. So no matter how hard we try, George wants a calmer life and doesn't want to be with us. And that breaks my heart. So I guess we're going to marry Harrison. I don't know if it's true love, but it seems, ooh, that made our relationship really bad. Harrison Batty. How come it doesn't say my fiance? Oh, it does here. Okay, so we should probably try to work on our relationship. We told him he's cool. He isn't feeling 100%. Okay, so 
he might have found out that she still had uh, feelings for uh, George and she's gonna tell him you know I did I did have feelings for George for a long time and I was hoping that that would turn into something but he doesn't want this life and you know I'm really grateful that you're willing to accept that responsibility and you know going forward I'll be loyal to you so hopefully they'll be able to work it out in BitLife he's not happy but at least together here they're doing okay so let's go ahead and get her to age up one more year Irritability. You have noticed that you're getting better way too easily recently. On top of that, your mood has been like a roller coaster, instantly swinging up and down. Okay, well, we're going to go to the doctor again because she's been doing that. We'll go to Dr. Buckingham again. He's still determined that we're not suffering from anything. Concert. Your friend Amelia has tickets to Selena Gomez. Of course they'll go. We enjoyed it. Okay. So is our relationship with Harrison a little bit better? No. Oh, that helped when I gave him a compliment. Can I spend time with him? Okay, so I had them do a little bit of boohoos, and I've been complimenting him and um, spending time with him. And that has caused our relationship to go up a lot higher. What? She was able to, uh, you know, express to him, you know, this was my past. It's not my future. Um, I know that we're going to be able to work things out. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ask him to move in with us because of the fact that um, during a royal wedding, they usually do a bunch of press tours and different things um, and do interviews about their engagement. So it just makes more sense that he would be living in the same residence as her. So he is going to move in with her and their daughter. And um, that'll make it, you know, just a little bit easier for the two of them to go ahead and do what they've got to do to get ready for the big day. So I'm going to go ahead and send them home. Okay, so the two of them are back home now. I think that he really appreciates the fact that um, she was honest with him. We've been able to kind of repair our relationship with him. Um, it's not perfect, but it's better. I'm going to get her to come talk to her little babaloo. And I'm also going to get Harrison to come spend some time with his daughter. I'm pretty sure the queen is going to be really happy that they got engaged. Um, how old is our daughter now? Our daughter's probably time to be aged up. Yeah, she's a little toddler. She's three years old. She's so cute. Look at her. I just love her. She's got really um, pretty good looks and smarts. She's going to be a really great kid. She's got like red hair and blue eyes. She's got like ready brown hair and blue eyes. She's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. So... The two of them were just doing a little bit of late night woohoos and she became pregnant again. I'm going to have her go ahead and keep the baby. So we've become pregnant again with Harrison's child. So we're going to have two babies before the wedding. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and I'm going to let her finish writing the book. I'll have them go do some woohoos. I'll send them to bed. Boy, they. So I'm going to have her come upstairs and take a pregnancy test. So we have to make sure that she is pregnant. And we also have to age up Victoria. So we'll go ahead and we'll throw a little bit of a birthday party and we'll age up Victoria. She loves that gown. I don't blame her. So hopefully we will be pregnant. Yay! Madison is expecting there's going to be a new addition to the family home. Oh, Does she got a little babaloo belly? She's so skinny that you can barely tell when she gets pregnant. Is she going to go share the news? Yeah, she's about to go share the big news with Harrison. I hope he's okay with it. <laughs> is he... Did we get closer now that we're having another baby? So we're definitely on the right track to um, having um, a good relationship again. I think it's going to take some time for them to rebuild that 
Um, trust. Our mom is calling us again and we literally just found out that we're pregnant so I'm, <laughs> I'm scared about that. But we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw a big birthday party for our beautiful daughter. So I'll have her go ahead and plan a social event. Actually, we, uh, yeah, she knows more people. So we'll get her to plan a social event. Are we friends with our exes at all? No, me and Tony don't get along well, so we won't invite Tony. I'm also gonna have her spend time with all because I'm gonna invite everybody. And that should help my relationships with uh, Lucas and Jade and Amelia go well. All of our friends are still single by the looks of it. Go. So we're gonna have a dinner party. Uh, but I am going to bring Victoria downstairs. So it'll be good. Everyone is on their way. We will be able to share the news about um, the fact that we're pregnant, the fact that we're getting married, and the fact that our baby is growing up. Oh my gosh, you guys. She looks mad. I wonder if she's mad because she spread, I have a theory that Jade spread gossip to the tabloids about Madison's pregnancy in order to get Harrison. I think she has a thing for Harrison and now she's finding out that not only are they engaged but they're having another baby together. And I think that's truly why Jade is mad. I think she wants our man. But I also think that these two need to be together and uh, it's kind of cute that they're over here hanging out. I hope they get together. But yeah, Jade's really mad but oh my god. George does not look like this in bit life anymore, you guys. I just want you to know, George has definitely changed. He is an art history at university and he's a legal secretary. So I guess he just wants a more regular life. Oh, George, maybe in another life, George will love us. Okay, so here's dad. So she's gonna show dad the baby. And let's go ahead and go friendly, ask about his day, be friendly. So I think we're gonna have to also say to George, okay, well, like, let's just make it official. Let's just be just friends. And, oh, I'm so sad. So I think uh, grandpa's gonna sit with the baby and we're gonna go try to find George. I have to admit, this really is breaking my heart that we have to do this, but George doesn't wanna be with us, so they can't have a relationship in The Sims anymore. Oh, these two are meant to be together. I just know it. Oh, she's mad. So she's like, so, um, oh, oh, that's so awkward. She's asking to be friends right in front of her fiance. But you know, she's saying, listen, they've decided to cool off their relationship because you know, she's getting married to Harrison and Harrison's there to support it. So at least Harrison knows that she's taking it seriously. So I really hope that that means that um, Harrison knows that she means his lo her loyalty to him. Even though in my heart, I'm only loyal to George. Oh, George. Why won't you love us? Okay, we need to move on, you guys. I think as a collective group, we need to come to terms with the fact that maybe Harrison isn't our forever man, but neither is George. No matter how hard I try, it's just not happening. So let's go ahead and embrace Harrison and we'll blow him a kiss. So she's having a really nice romantic conversation with her baby daddy. They're making out in Burberry in her palace. So I mean, she's still doing pretty good for herself. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and age up little Victoria. And let's have dad come over here so he can watch. So they're together. Aw, dad sent us a gift. Victoria, okay, so let's take a peek at her. Oh my God, is she not so adorable? I love her little pigtails. I guess we'll give her um, independent because she's really smart. So she might be a little bit more independent. So let's go ahead and jump in to create a sim and give this little cutie her makeover. 
So in BitLife, she aged up with green eyes, or in The Sims, she aged up with green eyes, but in BitLife, she has blue eyes and like ready brown hair. So we're gonna have to just make her look more like the actual game. All ready, you guys. So I just finished giving Victoria her makeover and I mean, she's an absolute doll. Like, I just love her so much. I wanted um, Madison's influence to really translate in Victoria's looks. So I didn't have orange for everything. I really wanted to go with like this burnt orange look for all of her outfits, but that's okay. So this is her everyday look. This is her formal. I liked that it was a little bit more laid back because I do feel like the fact that she has a parent that is from royalty and also a parent who isn't, there would be a little bit of a mix of that um, in her appearance, you know? And her little sleepwear, her party, I gave her the same outfit that her mom had when she was a kid, but with just a little bit of it cuteness, um, just in a different color. Then this is her party look. I just love this color on her. It is so beautiful. And then her cold weather, I just went for like a little bit more again, a more casual look, but also really cutesy. And I just love her. I just wanna pinch those little cheeks. I think she is absolutely adorable. So there you go, you guys. There is beautiful Princess Victoria. So there she is, you guys, in the game. I think she is so cute. And you know what, Harrison is actually wanting to be a really good dad. He's automatically going to teach her to talk. So I think what we're gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and we are going to um, age Madison up one more year so we, can, so we can go find out if the baby is gonna be a boy or a girl. Baby boy, you just gave birth to a baby boy and we named him Roland. I like that name. We're gonna go Roland Attenborough. You are a proud mother of a baby boy named Roland, Roland Attenborough. Smarts and looks are both really high. Uh, yes, we will circumcise him. Public outrage. <laughs> the public has denounced you once again for having a baby out of wedlock. You think they would just get used to the fact that this is how Madison deals with it? So her respect has gone down 63%. Harrison and I have been together for five years. I gave birth to a baby boy and I denounced, or, and I, I wouldn't do it again. I promised to the public I wouldn't do it again. I did, that's funny. Um, mine and Harrison's relationship is actually doing so much better. I'm really happy about that. Um, I think that me and him just had a few things we had to work through, but I th I'm really happy to know that her and him are finally oh, doing it better yeah. again. Let's go ahead and go MC Command Center and we'll go pregnancy. So she is pregnant with one male, so we're good. So we'll go ahead and put her in labor. Oh, she gets so big when she's pregnant. And I'm gonna let her go ahead and have the baby. And we're gonna have our baby boy, Roland. What does little Roland look like? Right now, he we can't really tell, but he's a little bald baby with blue eyes. So in the next episode, you guys, we're definitely gonna have to uh, have these two get married. So we are having another baby, Roland Attenborough. Our son is born. Madison and Harrison have had a baby. Aww, given a little bit of cuddles and snuggles. These two are gonna do really good. So I'm so excited. I think in the next episode, these two will probably finally get married. They were able to get engaged and they also had another baby this episode. <laughs> um, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this part. So if you guys enjoyed this part, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you think. I love to hear your guys' thoughts as always. And until next time, I'm gonna say bye for now.